I was there for this one, plane ride from hell. Uh, do, you, do you know about my experience with that? I was there on the plane do you know ride from hell. My experience? No, with that? so I'm. That's why I'm bringing it up. This is your shoot interview, not my. Your career it's not a shoot interview. Okay, it's your a Tommy career, Terry interview. I career retrospective. Shoot interview. Career retrospective. Thank you, sir. Um, where were you sitting on that flight? I just want to ask. I was one of the few. You were. I, I know was where, one of the few I, people I who were awake. Were. I was right by the emergency door where Brock and Kurt went into. So you were in the. You were in more. I was in first. first area. Yeah, you I were right the, past there was where the, Coach would have been. There was the and little. And not Coachman. Where the flight attendants were. Yep. There was. I was two seats back. Right there. Okay. And I remember me and Taker were like the first to break up Brock and Kurt. Yep. Okay. So, you were in first. I know exactly where you were. But remember this. like my The cooler whole, kids were in the back causing all the, the problems. The cool kids were so in the back. <laughs> like the grown-ups and the boring ones were in the front. Totally. Um, but I remember, you know, after a few hours, and we this was a chartered airplane, so it was only us on the plane with, with flight attendants. Um, I remember it's like, when we first get on one of those flights, we're all like, hey, we're all talking to each other, going back and forth. You're coming in first. I'm going there. Everyone's kind of like, you know, back and forth. At a certain point, everyone's like, oh, okay, it's time to settle down. Let's get some sleep, whatever. The bad kids. The bad kids. If I could move the camera right now to point it at Tommy Dreamer, the bad kids. I was so, not a bad kid. I was... I don't You're drink. You're so a bad kid. I don't drink. You're I don't a bad do kid. drugs. Anyway, I was the only one awake. Undertaker let had me, gotten. Let me give you a a, a a a moniker, please. Okay. He's a bad kid. He's a good kid. But he's a bad kid. Anyway, so so so, um, I remember like everyone starting to finally fall asleep. You know, everyone's kind of like, yep. at least toward the front. All of a sudden, I hear a David Allen Coe song, sung as only my ex-husband could sing it, because we were exes at the time, <laughs> and he's remarried at the time. Forever, my darling, my love be true. And I was like, oh my God. And I remember Paul Lee being across, like he was not right across from me, but he was like across from me enough that I could see him, he was like, don't sell it, shut up, sit back, go to sleep. And I was like, I never said another word, <laughs> nothing. He sang the full damn song on that flight, and yeah, it was bad. It was bad for me. Yeah, no, because he changed some of the lyrics. <laughs> it was uh, That was the innocent one, not innocent for you, but for everything that went on, that was bad. But here's the funny part. One, no, like I was saying, there's two sides to every story right. and there's the truth. Because I have heard, uh, I've seen, you know, Just Incredible give his version, X-Pac give his version. And, you know, then, and it's quoted now, like anything that happens in wrestling is quoted in ESPN. You know, uh, we're sitting here now and they just announced the Dudleys. It was from CBS that announced the Dudleys are going to the Hall of Fame. So anything that wrestlers do is out there. But like X-Pac and Just Incredible... And they'll be the first to tell you, they were on drugs and drinking. Mm. I was a sober person mm. on this flight. And also back then, too, you didn't really want to go to bed sometimes if you were on the back of the plane. You know, or if you, this were is not, when or if you ribs, had no tenure in the yes, company. Yeah, Ribs were still going on. So I would be like propped up kind of looking uh, <laughs> like, like uh, I was, you know, awake, even though if I'm nodding yeah. out. Undertaker had gotten hurt. This is the end of the tour. Mm -hmm. Undertaker had gotten hurt in the match. The top rope fell off. Mm -hmm. And I remember he had like his thing on and he was sitting there like this, but like everyone had different versions of that. And like, to me, the, like with, with Dustin, his singing at first, like, oh, you know, it's funny. <laughs> and then we're kind of like, like you said, people are falling asleep. People are trying to and sleep, then the yeah. only people who are hearing when he's changing the lyrics are probably only like you and the people he's referring to. Cause it's like, mm -hmm. I'm singing a song and it's like, because he's doing it over a loudspeaker mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of our plane. He, he commandeered the flight attendant's yeah. mic, yes. 
He's awesome. I love Bill <laughs> I mean, it's funny now. It, I was then, mortified then, but it's funny now. 